Some of you guys are new to me, but some of you are also new to Disney Dreamlight. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial for Scramble Coins, so let's get into what needs to happen. We're gonna start off with the basics and we're gonna play against Goofy first. If we can fucking find where he is. Oh, he's over here. First thing I do when I hit let's play, I look at the board. Are there obstacles? Do I need to smash through them or do I need to jump or do I need to go diagonally? Where are the open spots? What's my movement looking like, right? Before I grab my figurines, that's what I do. So we've got obstacles in the middle here. We've got fences. So we can play Gaston for sure. We need somebody who can jump, right? My go-to is Eve because Eve goes crazy far. I like choosing Anna because Anna can move perpendicular three spots. I got two spots left. This has this this is strategy. This is a strategy game, you know? We got a person who can jump. We got a person who can go all the way across the board. We've got a person who can maneuver. I really, really take advantage of Rapunzel because Rapunzel moves to one spot, but then Rapunzel grabs the coins around her. And I think that's super beneficial. I'm thinking I want somebody who moves diagonally. So I'm going to go ahead and get Lumiere. All right, now we've got our setup. Now, if this doesn't work, I have to start over. <laughs> Once you pick your figurines and you get the first spawn of coins, I want you to pay attention to where these are. Now, what I like to do, usually if this fence wasn't here, I would put Gaston right here and have him move across the board. But fence is here, can't move through that. So what do we do? I look for where the most amount of coins are that I can get. So right now we can go straight here for two. We can get two here diagonally. I can still use Gaston here. Preferably I wanna save him. So I'm gonna use Anna. We're gonna put Anna right here and move her. All right, Goofy made the first move, it's over here. Now, the reason I chose Goofy is because Goofy's figurine can move once per turn as far as three spaces. So then you've got your next spawn of coins. You gotta keep looking at the board and see where your best bet is. Where can you benefit from? Right, we've got two diagonal here. There's a lot of diagonal play, right? So I think I'm gonna bring in Lumiere. We're gonna put him right here. We're gonna move one spot and then he's gonna grab these two coins. I'm gonna move Anna out of that corner, back to this coin. We're at five, Goofy's at three. Now this is our third turn. By the third turn, you should at least have three figurines on the board. Now I'm looking at this cluster of coins here and I'm really, I almost said a bad word. <laughs> now, so I'm looking at this here, all of these coins, who do I want? I want Rapunzel to grab some coins here, right? Rapunzel can entry anywhere on the board. That's another thing to pay attention to is the playing conditions. How many spaces can they go? When can they enter the board? Where can they enter the board? What is their movement like? Collect up to three coins from adjacent tiles at the end of her movement, right? And that's why I like her, right? So we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna go right here in the center and I'm gonna move her here. And she just grabbed all that. You can only switch a figurine at the beginning of your turn. Once you do, you're not allowed to do it again for the rest of your turn. So Anna's stuck here, but I'm just gonna move her just to get that coin. We still have Lumi here. forgot about him. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that coin and we're just gonna move him back here. Not really worried about what Goofy's doing. Goofy's super simple. You don't have to worry about him. Whenever there's a duty in the star path and it says you need to win scramble coin or if one of your royal duties says win scramble coin, just go straight to Goofy. It's an easy win. Once the gold coins start showing up, this is really where you want to decide who do you want to keep on the board? Who's going to benefit you more by switching out? So now I'm looking at where the gold coins are. I know I definitely want to keep Rapunzel because Rapunzel is going to grab three spaces, right? So I'm gonna move Rapunzel up here and she's gonna grab that. But I'm still thinking about what Anna's doing and what Lumiere is doing. I'm thinking of switching Lumiere for Gaston. It's turn four, there's only one spot left. So let's just go ahead and go with Eve and Eve is gonna grab the gold over here. Rapunzel's gonna grab these. Anna's gonna come over here. Now this is actually really important. I want you to pay attention to the coins. This gold spawned right here. If I replace Anna with Lumiere, I can move here and also grab these coins. But there's two gold coins here. I would prefer to grab these over one set and then two silver. Now, if we leave Eve the way she is, Eve is only gonna grab this set of gold coins if I ask her to. Whereas if I switch from Eve to Gaston, he's gonna slide all the way and get this silver coin too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Gaston. Mom's gonna pick up the coins. Rapunzel, I'm just gonna have her here. She's gonna grab one silver. And we've won our scramble coin match. Then you can choose to either leave or rematch if you're feeling ready for another one. So that's the gist of playing scramble coin. If you've got questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have fun and let me know how you do.